Today we're going to take a look at this Logitech G402 Hyperion Fury. Uh, it's a gaming mouse um, and has a resolution of 240 to 4000 dpi. Um, so let's have a look, see what's in the box and then see what software is, there is to configure with it. Okay, let's see what else is in here before we get rid of it. Oh, sticker. Just a thank you with some other products. Nothing there really. Uh, talking about a download, a warranty card, and that is it. Looking at in there, yeah, it's just a cardboard inlay. So that's it in the box. So very basic, which isn't isn't a big deal. Okay. So there's the mouse. I think that's the only bit that lights up. Uh, there's not tons of lighting within it. Quite a nice, um, slightly rubberized coating. That's all around. Um, it's not huge, um, but it's okay for palm grip. Uh, I've got one button there, two there, and then another two next to the left click. Quite a smooth middle mouse, not too clunky or loud. Not too loud on the buttons. Middle click's quite hollow and clicky. Um, feels very light, um, kind of plasticky. There's no weight option, so you can't add some more weight to it or reduce the weight. Um, cable is plastic coated, it's not braided or rubberized. Feels like it will slip around enough. It's not going to get tangled on mouse mat. And then USB connection. Fair length of cable on there. Um, so overall the, look, the looks are fine. Um, it's not, not offensive. <laughs> um, oh yeah, some indicators here. Uh, I don't know what that's for. Maybe the DPI settings within the software to show you which profile you're on. So let's take a look at that. Um, let's get it plugged in. Okay, so that's now plugged in. You can see the, uh, the little glow there pulsing away. Those lights haven't come on yet. So maybe it needs the Logitech software. So first we'll have a little look at something that doesn't require any software from Logitech. We'll look at a piece of mouse software that I've used before. Uh, called X mouse button control. What is it? Let's have a look. Yeah, X mouse button control. And let's see if it recognizes all the buttons. So you can see if I scroll up and down, it's recognizing those. Right click, left click. Let's see if it's got the others. No, so it's not got the, the front, uh, the, the left mouse button buttons, but it has got the ones for the thumb control. Let's see if it's got the front one. Not the front one either. So you will need the Logitech software for that. And interesting. So that does actually do something. So we'll see what's happening with that in the software. So let's get the software downloaded. Okay, so now that's loaded up, it's detected the mouse, and we can go in and start looking at configuration. So you can choose the colors. So it's just a, <laughs> it's really just the brightness of that uh, LED in there. So that's, let's see if we can do a different color. Doesn't look like it, does it? No. 
So it's just a blue LED and you can change the uh, brightness. Um, so let's look at button assignments. There we go. So now we do get access to the different buttons. So these ones on the top, uh, top next to the left mouse button are DPI settings up and down. Ah, look. So there's your DPI settings and it tells you what level it's at. So that should be a lot faster depending on what the uh, defaults are. Uh, it's got access to macros. And quite nice that you can do button assignments even based on the application that you're using. Some actions. All oh, right, so drag a command onto the target to assign it. So you can take a key and assign it to a button. I don't know what G shift is. Maybe that's your, maybe that's the G shift, but it doesn't look like it because it's got a target on it. Sensitivity options. So those are your different DPIs. So we can drag those about. Increase that. So very configurable by the look of all the options in here. And I would have said for the price, which is about, uh, I paid about 35 for it. Uh, I would have said that's reasonable for this, this level of mouse. Uh, we were kind of desperate to get a replacement because the middle mouse click on our other mouse had failed. Um, but I think you could probably get a better deal if you waited. Um, so that's worth looking for. Um, it's a decent site I'll link to in the uh, video description where you can set a monitor on Amazon and it'll let you know when it comes down in price. Um, but overall, first impressions, it seems pretty decent. Um, a good level of configuration through the software. Um, so I'd, I'd certainly recommend uh, taking a look, see if it's your thing uh, for your mouse grip as well, um, or whether you want to spend some more on it. Um, I'll update the comments if, um, if I get any issues uh, over the coming years as we use it. Um, and I'll keep you updated with what we think. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you next time.